one step at a time. Everything you missed in the new Mortal Kombat 1 official Rulers of Outworld trailer. That's right, we are breaking this trailer down step by step, frame by frame, and again, showing you everything you missed, all the small little details that might have been overlooked the first time around. Subscribe here for more fighting game content and let's get into it. So I'm gonna let the trailer play and then I'll stop it when I wanna show you something. So first of all, we have this front scene where they're on the streets celebrating, it seems we got Goro playing the drums first of all hilarious i know you didn't miss this but it's just so funny he's got drums on the side because <laughs> his lower arms are like hitting those drums while he's playing these drums hilarious okay so right here a couple things you thought oh that's mataro it's not mataro it's probably one of his race though right like we see mataro later in this trailer as you might already know spoiler alert but these are a lot of the shokan like we're seeing the shokan race right here and one thing i want to point out if you didn't notice we we don't know because their face is turned back but we see a female shokan right here again and walking in front what you might think is mataro is that shiva i, I can't really confirm but that's something that you might have missed the first time around is it, uh, we see a male shokan Shokan right here. Here is one of the only, as far as I can see right here, the female Shokan. It goes by pretty quick. It's I'm I'm in slow motion right now. Look how fast this goes by. You barely even saw it. I I, put, I clicked play on slow motion. Like, yeah, you barely even see that. So, could that be Shiva? Are we gonna see her in the story a little bit, or is this just a standard, you know, a, a standard female Shokan person? I don't know. And then the next big thing we see is Shao Khan. He's not the Khan yet. He's General Shao. And it's so cool that they bring that up. But man, first of all, let me say as well. I know we didn't miss this part, but the design for Shao is is beyond. It's ten out of ten, man. It is. So phenomenal. Every small intricate detail just looks so good. This scene had me screaming. I, I lost my mind right here. So right here, we see Mataro a bit later, but this was going by so fast. You see Mataro right at the beginning. So right at the announced Shao Kahn, they actually all they also announced Mataro right here on the side. But again, you're in the moment, you just see Shao Kahn running. Uh, you don't even see Mataro, but he's right there in the very beginning, which is kind of cool. And then we see Sindel, beautiful, stunning character model. Sindel looks so freaking good. Queen of Outworld, oh my goodness. And then we see a brand new stage. And we can't really read it, but there's writing on all these rocks, the walls, the towers here. This is most likely just like a war camp. But then there's this ball right here. I'm not quite sure if this is going into the nether realm. I'm not sure if this is like part of General Shao's like move set or if this is like part of the actual map itself. Is this part of the story going on? We're not sure yet because it disappears. Uh, it, it looks like it could be a portal, right? Like somebody steps through it, but then it goes away right there during General Shao's move set. First of all, his moveset looks freaking awesome. He looks like he hits so hard. And you gotta know, what we're seeing here, they're definitely gonna do gear in this game, man. It's not confirmed, but look at this. Look at what they did for the character. Either they're gonna do skins and have them completely reformatted each skin, or they're just gonna do gear like they did for either Injustice or MK11. We also see green, green fire. And I know we're making a lot of assumptions here, but again, these are things you don't think about when you're first watching the trailer. Green fire, does that mean green? Does that mean like, does that, does that mean like Shang Tsung? doing or is that Quan Chi's doing I know Quan Chi's a DLC character but but is he gonna be part of the story somehow some way I know you saw it was Tanya and at General Shao here absolutely destroys Tanya so are we seeing her get wrecked in the actual story itself and she dies and they're giving that away right here also you see Mataro you see one of his races skeleton back here so Shao just keeps that race of skeleton in the background so they're part of the story it looks like they gotta be right yeah look at this just absolutely tears her arm off and just kills her or that's tanya's like team that part like is that like tanya's team the, you know, the outfit she's wearing so that might not have been tanya but that could be like tanya's team because there's like lee may's part of the umgati and then tanya's here with her team but and, and general shao is just messing up their day so right here see you see a little bit more clearly in this room where you fight you see that skeleton in the background that that uh, kind of Mataro's race skeleton. They just keep in the background there, freaking hilarious. So as a little side note, I'm gonna show you guys something in a little bit. Uh, right here, this move, Sindel's using her hair as she stands on it. You can see this right here, I'll zoom in for you. But you see how she's like kind of on her hair doing the kick flip. Take a note, we'll go over that a little bit later. Mataro shows up and he teleports you. 
behind your opponent. Now, I know in Mortal Kombat, holding back is not a block, otherwise this would be a crazy mix-up, but the fact that they have a giant character like Matara, who's really big and bulky, have the ability to teleport you, get you out of the corner, out of crazy situations, that's wild. And, and again, you might, you might have seen that, but I just want to elaborate on how crazy that is that he will teleport you. That's freaking wild. Then he comes out here, one, two, three projectiles. So he doesn't just shoot just the one, he shoots three projectiles. Mommy Sindel looks pissed, she's gonna scream. And what's cool about that move, for those that don't know, that move right there is, is a stand-up. So, so if, originally you might have seen General Shao in the air, right? He's falling, you know, falling right here. He should have fell to the ground as a hard knockdown in the actual fight, right? But this move is really important because it stands your opponent back up. And what that does is that basically negates their ability to do a wake up attack. And as we know, a lot of the characters have some moves that have armor and you'll use those moves on wake up to get out of the corner and so on. This negates that. And the Sindel's like, nope, stand back up, we're fighting. And she again has the pressure because now you don't have the chance to do a wake up. So now she has the ability to grab you or 50-50 go for an overhead or a low. Because you see General Shao is standing right back up. So you see, look, look towards you, grab. She does Mataro's grab, which is pretty sick. Okay, so it's not Tanya's like uniform. This is actually just the, the guards of the royal. So this, this is just the royal guard. <laughs> the guards of the royal, this is the royal guard. So that's who Xiao was messing up earlier. And it's kind of noteworthy right here. We have a lot of the cast. We have Tanya, Melina, Katana, Liu Kang, Johnny Cage, Kung Lao, Raiden, and Kenshi. Melina and Katana just looking absolutely phenomenal, dude. I thought it was so funny. What a crazy note that like Raiden is now Earth Realm's champion and Liu Kang's kind of like the new god. So Raiden and Liu Kang kind of have switched roles in this new story, which I think is a great new take, a great new twist. I'm a Raiden main, so I've, I've really wanted to see how Raiden is, you know, his what's his role in this whole thing. And now we kind of know he's he's the new earth realm champion and i've been waiting so long to see raiden gameplay and we finally get it in this trailer another note this this goes by so fast Th there's like this whole group over here we got kenshi johnny kung lao raiden talking group back here who's this lonesome guy by himself just right here what looks like maybe having a stomach ache or something dizzy ready to do get a fatality on him i think that was rico reiko whatever you want to say it i think that right there was General Reiko as we know, but also not general yet. So, oh, come on, please pause it, go back right here. So all we get is a capture here, but he's wearing the same armor, give or take, as Shao Kahn was, you know, the red, the silver, the black. I'll show you what General Shao was wearing in that scene with Raiden. So look, he's got the red, the silver, the black, and obviously the guy in the background here doesn't have the horn. So it's definitely not Shao. Like this, I think that's Reiko without being the general, because right now it's General Shao, and I think Rico takes his place. Uh, so he'll have a part in the story. We don't know if he's playable yet or even a cameo, but but we see Rico here in the background, I believe to be Rico. Not Thunder God Raiden, nope, we get Thunder Guy Raiden. The stage where we first saw Rain, here we go. But what's really cool, what's really notable here is we finally see Shijinko as a cameo. Surprise, spoiler, it's actually Shijinko. I thought it was Shang Tsung at first. I was like, oh, is that Shang, it's a cameo? Psych, it's actually Shijinko. And there's a couple noteworthy things. He comes out right here and he punches, you know, he punches Xiao and then uses Xiao's own move against him with the axe swing. So that's a noteworthy thing. So far, if, with that assumption right there, we can assume that Shijinko uses your opponent's moveset. What's crazy about that is, is as far as we know now, General Xiao is a playable character, yes, but we, as far as we know, he's, he's not a cameo. So essentially, if you fight a General Shao and you use Shijinko, now Shao is your cameo. That, that's kind of crazy to me. That's kind of weird. Like, does that mean that all three or four of Shijinko's moves are based off of your opponent or only one of them? And he's got his own, you know, two or three other moves. Because then at that point, if that's the case, Shijinko, if he takes all your opponent's moves as his moves for a cameo, that would essentially mean that every playable character is a cameo in a format if you use Shijinko and fight that character. And then that would also mean he's kind of just a wild card. Like, you don't really dictate what your moves, like your extra moves for your cameo are gonna be. You choose Shijinko and say, whoever my opponent's gonna choose, 
I'll just base my gameplay off of that. That that is wild. Raiden's Fatal Blow. I love Raiden's Fatal Blow so freaking much. Because a lot of the Fatal Blows are just like, oh, break your neck, break your arm, whatever. Raiden's like, nope, we're going in the sky. We're going in the storm. I'm gonna create electric clones of myself. We're gonna slam into you Superman style and then chest pound you with my feet. Oh my gosh, love his Fatal Blow. And then right here, everybody watch this. Shinko, boom. You guys saw that, right? Shinko uses his hair. Right here, he's on, look, zoom in. He's on He's on his hair just like Sindel was, which is really cool. So that means he's using Sindel's move. So again, that kind of just backs up my previous point. Shijinko is using your opponent's moves against themselves. And as again, as we know, Sindel is not a cameo as, as of this recording. So right now we're under the assumption, okay, so if I fight a Sindel, then I get Sindel's moves if I use Shijinko as a cameo. But again, we have no bar up here to really tell us via the HUD that, you know, this is using one bar, the whole bar is, is all, are all of Shijinko's moves in this fight based off Sindel or does he have, you know, two of his own and then, you know, forward cameo is going to be your opponent's move. There's so many questions I have right here. We, I can't answer them right now, but, the, you know, I'm making a lot of assumptions, a lot of questions right here of like, how does Shijinko really work? Right after this move, Raiden sets up a giant thing of projectiles, getting ready to throw them all out there. What are you, zoner? Maybe. But at the same time of that, Sindel's pulling out Mataro. As we know, he can teleport and throw out three projectiles for a pop-up. And now he's got defense, he's got a shield up. So I don't know if this shield can do physical attacks or like can it do fatal blows? Can it you know protect against wake up attacks? As we're gonna see, it protects yourself. It protects yourself against you know uh, projectiles, and not only does it stop the projectiles, but it deflects them back at you. So if you're a zoner or whatever you're doing a projectile and you throw that out there. But Tarl's gonna say F that, uh, you can have him right back. As a Raiden main, I noticed this. Raiden does his like Superman kind of thing, but it's blocked, which is again, very punishable. There we go, it's punished. But you saw here, it, rather than, uh, he kind of jumps up and then flies. That's his, you know, awesome standard classic Raiden move. And then of course, Sindel goes right in for the fatal blow. And right here, what's super interesting is she, her hair is now all crazy and it wasn't in the gameplay. So I'm wondering, does this Super Saiyan Sindel stay this way after the Fatal Blow is used or does she go back to like normal looking hair Sindel? The craziest part about this Fatal Blow that absolutely made me cringe so hard is Raiden is like, stop busting my ball Sindel. And Sindel's like, okay, what'd you say? Oh my God, absolutely, absolutely terrible. I created so hard at that. Air combos into the finisher. I think the biggest things to take note of in this trailer that you might've missed, again, that could be Shiva for all we know. She could be part of the story. She could have a different life like everybody else does. So I'm not taking that off the table. I think that definitely could be Shiva here in the background. I think this could definitely be Reiko in the background. He's by himself. Like he, he's definitely standing out like a sore thumb here. We got Raid in the group, the group, and then just some lonesome guy in red, silver, and black armor i truly think either he spoke out here and got punched in the gut or something and that's reiko trying to be the new general to take over you know general shao who's gonna, who as we know is gonna become and maybe in the story become shao khan and then reiko becomes general reiko so and man i really wonder about shijinko man he makes me question the entire game like not only does he have he might not have his own moves but from what we can tell he, he was only showcased using your opponent's moves as his cameo moves. So that makes me think, again, is every character in the game now a cameo as long as you use Shijinko and you fight that character? Like, that's so, can you assign certain characters moves to Shijinko in the first place? Or is he gonna be a true wild card and you have no idea what his moves are until you fight your opponent? You're like, oh, my opponent is General Shao. So that means my cameo is gonna have General Shao's moves. So now how do I play my main character now that I know my cameo's moves are now Shao's? See, it's just so weird. Like you have so many variables and so many questions. There's just so much going on with Shijinko. I'm just like, dude, what is this character? man using shijinko with shang Tsung, i can already tell you he's gonna be absolutely crazy because shang Tsung is gonna use you know other characters moves he'll have maybe he'll maybe have like sub-zero's ice ball with scorpion spear or whatever use that with shijinko oh my what a wild ride that's gonna be let me know your thoughts down below of the shiva of the reiko of the other things we saw in this trailer that you might have missed did i miss anything else that you saw let me know your thoughts down below subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time